uh, social media is huge in China. Uh, we're traditionally a, a traditional PR company, so we, we had been working with print and TV media, and so we had a natural transition to go online and start working with uh, social media people. Um, of course, all of the, or many of the foreign social media outlets are blocked in China, so we have to use all of the homegrown social media sites, Kaixing Wang, which is the Chinese version of Facebook, Weibo, which is Twitter, and uh, Renren and some other. So we've had to uh, adjust a little bit how we do it, and they're all a little bit different. Basically, uh, we work with the, with the bloggers and with these social media uh, influencers to help push out our message. So we try to find an interesting message that they're going to be interested in, and we try to get them involved in, into our campaign. And then, if it's interesting enough, they'll push it out. So, really, we're looking at finding good content to give to the social media people and the people who are famous bloggers. Uh, for example, um, we had some famous cooking bloggers and people uh, who were doing all kinds of dishes, and they had uh, hundreds of thousands of followers following them and and seeing you know what type of dishes they're cooking and what type of tips they could have. Um, so we had a client that was an online grocery store. And we had that grocery store send them food to make. So they took all of this food and they made it themselves. And then they posted all of their results on their blog and on their Weibo and on their Kaixing Wang. So it, it kind of naturally uh, found an audience and helped our client uh, have a very natural way to, to talk with uh, their client audience.